This is everything you need to know to tile an outdoor splashback. Hey, my name is Marja. Having a decorative tiled splashback in your outdoor alfresco area not only adds personality, it also adds to the theme that you're going for. From patterned to subway to mosaic tiles, the choices are endless. Let's get into it. Before you begin, make sure that the base you're applying your splashback to is fire resistant. Here we have cement sheeting, which is tough, durable, and most importantly, fire resistant. Next, apply a primer to the surface. This will help bond the sheeting and the tile adhesive. Once your surface is evenly primed, you can leave it to dry. Depending on your chosen tile, you'll need to work out any patterns or mosaic features on a flat surface before applying them to the wall. This will not only make the application process easier, but you'll also be able to determine whether or not you need to cut any tiles to fit the space you're applying them to. Now that you know the kind of tile you're going to be using, it's time to determine how many tiles you're going to need. To figure out the square meterage of your splashback, measure the length by the width of the area being tiled. Make sure that you purchase 10% more tiles than you think you need to cover for any breakages and offcuts. Using a level, follow the seam of the base tile and mark a line. If need be, you may need to cut a tile. If that's the case, simply place your tile into the tile cutter, run the scorer back and forth a couple of times, then press down hard to cut the tile. Make sure your tile cutter is an appropriate size based on the size of your tiles. Using a notch trowel, apply the tile adhesive from the bottom, working your way up the wall, placing the tiles one by one. The size between the gaps will be determined by the size and thickness of your tile and the thickness of your tile adhesive. Ensure your gaps are equal by using a cross spacer between each tile. From here, we need to apply the grout. Mix the product in a bucket with some water, following the instructions on the pack. Using a grout float, push the grout between the gaps of the tiles on an angle, ensuring there are no air bubbles. Once you're done, use a sponge to wash the remaining grout off the tiles and leave this to dry overnight. To finish up our splashback, we've added a trim around the edges for that sleek look. Just cut yours to size, glue down and leave to dry. And there you have it, a tiled outdoor splashback. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks.